The Honolulu Police Department today began processing hundreds of applications for concealed carry gun permits. After a Supreme Court ruling earlier this year, a person no longer needs a reason to carry a concealed weapon, giving more people the opportunity to apply. KITV Forest Jefferson Tyler joined us now live in the newsroom with more. And Jefferson, did many people apply today? Well, I was there all afternoon and, and most of the day, and there weren't a lot of people in line. Many were there just to make sure that they got the information right. This is a major milestone for us people that have been waiting years and years to be able to do this. The enthusiasm is strong for those in line at the HPD trying to get their concealed carry permit. A recent Supreme Court decision eased restrictions. HPD says that letters to early applicants went out over the weekend and five to 600 people applied early. Still some here today were left empty handed. They told me we're not ready yet. Um, things aren't set in stone, so until the chief of police police comes on the news and explains it better, pretty much just wait. HPD says they're trying to make the new rules and forms as accessible as possible. Applications for certified courses were posted Friday night. You do still have to submit a firearm application and go through the proper procedures. You have to 10 year background, FBI background check, and you have to wait two weeks. And those two weeks, they do a thorough investigation on you. And they'll even call your, your doctor, your physician, to see if you're mentally um, incompetent or the slightest bit shady of a character. And your record has to be squeaky clean. No felonies. Complicating matters even more is an ordinance being considered in the city council that would prohibit guns being in schools, voting centers, all public parks, shelters, bus stops, and even on buses. It's a lot of places. It's almost like there's a few places that you actually can carry. If anybody tell them, oh, yeah, you can take it to the park. That's where problems start. You get different people partying out there. They, they get drunk. You're not supposed to drink in the parks, but they're drinking. There's a lot of shady characters that live in public parks where if someone's taking their family and they get attacked, they want to know they can be able to take care of them and their family. While some are against a proposed ordinance with concerns of self-defense, others are thinking what would happen if concealed carry were to make its way into places like shelters. It could be anything. They could fight over a, a bowl of soup. You know what I mean? And your life was threatened. If you're interested in getting your concealed carry permit, those doors open again around around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Jefferson Tyler, KITV4 Island News.